read A Crayon Story, written and illustrated by Michael Hall, narrated and told by me, Karis Clark. This is a story about a crayon I know. I wrote it for you. Hey, I'm friends with that crayon. I love this story. He was red, but he wasn't very good at it. Oh dear, said Olive. His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry and then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really, said Scarlet. But he couldn't, really. Like this? asked Red. Oh my, let's try again, said Scarlet. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange, said Olive. A really big one, said yellow. A really orange one, said red. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck, said yellow. Oops, said red. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm scarf, said Silver. Nice, it's so you, said Gray. But it so wasn't. Oh dear me, said Silver. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all, said Amber. Don't be silly. It says red on his label, said Hazelnut. He came that way from the factory, said Coca Bean. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright, said Fuchsia. Well, I think he's lazy, said Grape. Right, he's got to press harder, said Army Green. Really apply himself. Steel Gray said. Give him some time. He'll catch on, said S Sunshine. Of course he will, said Sea Green. But he didn't catch on. Green Frog, drew green. Black Sheep, drew black. Brown Cow, drawed brown. Red, ack! Red, wrote. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will hold you together, said masking tape. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it, said scissors. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now, we, I said. Even with all our help and all his hard work. He just couldn't get the hang of it. One day he met a new friend Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? asked Barry. I can't. I'm red, said Red. Will you try? said Barry. Barry. 
so he did. Thank you, it's perfect, said Barry. You're welcome. It was easy, said Fred. He didn't stop there. Blue bells, blue jeans, blue bird, blueberries, blue whale. I'm blue, said Red. He was blue and everyone was talking. My son is brilliant, said Olive. Could have known he was blue, said Amber. I always said he was blue, said Hazelnut. It was obvious, said Cocoa Bean. His blue ocean really lifted me, said Barry. All of his hard works make me hap makes me happy, said Sea Green. His blue strawberries are my favorite, said Brown. He's so intense, said Apple Green. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one said Yellow. I hear he's working on a, new, on a huge new project, said Gray. He's really reaching for the sky, said Scarlet. And he really was. And that is Red, a Crayon Story. My favorite part about this book is how we really find out that red is blue. I think it's something that everybody can relate to, and I think it's so incredible. And I love how when he does figure out himself, everyone supports him. And I think that's a lesson we can all take from this book, that while we can't make these assumptions about people, we have to um, respect them. And when they do come out, we have to accept them for who they am, and accept all of their differences and what makes them unique and everything that they're great at. Now, I wanna hear you, all your thoughts about this book. Please uh, leave a comment telling me what your favorite part was about this book. Thank you, I hope to see you again.